What is good, you sexy bastards? Welcome back. It is SCG, and yep, I have another GTA 5 online video for you. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I am going to show you how to do that amazing helmet glitch I showed you yesterday or the day before, I guess now, which you guys have just absolutely fell in love with. This glitch has a lot more possibilities than we even know. So I'm going to show you, not only does it work with the helmets, it also works with the adversary mode hats, and we can also do biker gloves. And you can even do more, which I'm still exploring, so stay tuned for more videos on that. So first what we want to do is we want to have two outfits set up, okay? So we're going to have our receiving outfit, um, which we want to put the gloves and the hat on. So this is the one I'm going to use here. I'm missing the um, biking gloves. And I'm just going to change the hat to red for the purposes of the video. Okay, so that's a white adversary mode hat right now. So just like the previous one, you are going to have to have at least one of these adversary mode hats or helmets if we're going to do it. So do the adversary mode glitch to get yourself one and put it on the outfit that you want. Now on the second outfit, we're going to have it set up just like I do here. We're going to be wearing the racing top with the actual gloves that we want or the biker suit, either one. And then we're going to have the helmet that we want to correspond with the hat we're going to do. So this is the green biker helmet. This is what I'm going to use to give me the red snapback. All right, so it's the same components. So just like before, once you've gone ahead and actually saved your outfit, put some glasses on, you're going to go back to story mode. Once you're back in story mode, you're going to tell your friend on the second console to go ahead and log in, okay? Or if you have a second console, you're going to have them log in. So again, just like before, make sure you trust this person 150%. Or if you do have a second console, you're golden. Also make sure they are opening the GTA fresh when they log into your account. Okay, I've got a lot of comments on the previous video stating that they get an error message eventually, which I'll get into. Now once they load in fresh, it's going to obviously kick you out just like before. You're going to stay on that blue screen. You're not going to do nothing. Your friend logs into your account. They're going to load up through story mode. Once they're fully loaded into story mode, they want to go to online and choose character. Okay, so it's taking us a little bit to load here, but once we do that, we go choose character. And now all they're going to do is sit here on the character selection screen. Okay, now once they've done that, they can tell you, okay, we're good. You can go ahead and log back in. So once you log back in, we're back on your console. You're going to be still in story because we went back to story after we put our sunglasses on. And then we're just going to go ahead and go into an invite only session. Okay. Now, if you notice as well, a little pointer, when you're putting, when you're originally starting off and you're putting your sunglasses on, if it changes any items on your outfit, do a uh, headgear piece instead. So do like a headset instead. Okay. If you do the headset, it won't affect the outfit in any way, and it still works. So you can put a headset on in the beginning and keep that headset on throughout until the very end instead of the sunglasses. So either one will work. Now, if you get that little black error like I did as well, when you're going into an online session, don't worry. It's going to kick it back to story. Just go ahead and go back to an invite-only session one more time. doesn't make any difference. So now we're back on your console still. Okay. Now what we want to do is change the outfit to the outfit that we want the items on. So we were first using basically our donor outfit. Now we're going to have it using our recipient outfit. So this is the one I want the red hat on and the biker gloves. So I'm going to put it on and then I'm going to put the sunglasses back on, wait for the orange loading circle in the bottom right hand corner. And then from there, we're just going to go ahead and into story mode once more. Once we're in story, we're going to tell our friend, okay, you're good to log back in. He's still going to be here at this character selection screen. All he needs to do is select the character so that it takes him in to an online session. Now this is where some of you guys are having problems. If you go into that character selection screen and it automatically kicks you back to story, that means that they were already logged into GTA. So you either have to start over and have them log out completely, or if you're quick enough, when they kick them back to story, like as soon as you see it saying kick into story basically, they can go into their PlayStation menu and join a friend. If they do it quickly enough, it'll take them back online. And as long as they're still wearing this outfit with the helmet, you're good. Okay. If it's changed to your new outfit, your recipient outfit, then unfortunately you're going to have to start over. So if we're still wearing the outfit like we want with the biker helmet, we just want to do the same as before. We're going to buy some ammo 
and then we're going to take our sunglasses off or our headset off, either or, okay? Once we've done that, we're going to wait for that orange loading circle once again. And from this point, your friend can either go back to story or even just close application, okay? Now we are ready to go back on our console. So we're going to be back in story. We're now on our console, and we just want to go ahead and start up an invite-only session one more time. So this part, we're pretty much done. We're just going to see what happened, what merged. All right. Now I'm going to explain something to you guys here again once we get into it. But also, same way when you're loading back on, if it automatically kicks you, gives you this back to story, no problem. Don't worry. You'll see kind of like a flash of the outfit so you know it's worked. But from when you're back in story, you just got to go into an invite-only session again. No big deal, okay? So if you notice when we come in, the outfit doesn't look exactly how I wanted. Now this is what I mean by this glitch actually has a lot more potential. My joggers are gone, my Gorka pants I should say, and I've got checkerboard shoes, okay? So when I used my donor outfit, I had just the basic sweatpants I'm wearing and I had the basic high top shoes that you get for free, the black ones. So those obviously turn into the checkerboard shoes. Now I have to figure out, I've been told that the actual Gorka pants don't merge from other people that have been messing with the glitches, but the joggers will, okay? So ideally, you're going to want to have the outfit with the joggers on already. Put the racing suit top on. Put the helmet that you want on. And then make the second outfit the exact same. So you're more or less going to have the same outfits, but one's going to have the racing jersey and the helmet. And the other one's going to have kind of how you want it to look like in the end, minus those two pieces, if that makes sense. All right, so I'm just going to save this one anyways, and then just kind of play around with it some more. But I hope this helped. Obviously, this can do the adversary mode, hats, and racing gloves. And stay tuned for more as I come up with different ideas to do. All right, guys, this is SCG. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And until the next one, I am out.